everyone, it's Kimchika, and I am back with Undertale! I'm so excited! Last time we stopped, we ended up in the village of Snowden. And I love... Ugh, I just... You guys know this. I love this game. And the fact that they played with the words snowed in, because it's the town that snowed in. It's like... It's genius. It's incredible. So, just see. It's it's Christmas town. Ah, I love Christmas! So we've got this nice little flower. Here's a treasure chest. Use the- oh, the box! Yes! Um, nothing's here. This X. Let's go into the shop. Hi, sassy rabbit lady! Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I just want to talk. Care to chat? Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Um, you want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Oh, I bet. Town history. <clears throat> think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters live in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless your ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Oh, so that door we couldn't get through last time, that's the door into the ruins. Oh, Toriel. That reminds me about Toriel. What about your life? Life is the same as usual. Whoops. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Oh, life. Let's see, well, what is there to buy? We've got tough glove. Manly bandana. <laughs> His abs on it. The bicycle. Bicy bicycle? You eat it twice. <laughs> And a cinnamon bun. I mean, these are so cheap. I guess I'll get one of each. I'll get a bicycle, I'll get a cinnamon bun, and I'll get a manly bandana. That'll help my defense I'm, since I'm not attacking anyone. Bye now. Come again sometime. Cool. <clears throat> Use the box? Yes, ma'am. Um, so let's put the toy knife in there because we're not using that. Uh... I don't know if we can equip the tough club and the bandana, so let's just try it. Oh. Do item. So manly bandana. Use. You equip the manly bandana. Cool! Alright, I guess we can have them both. Let's check out the inn. Meet her sister. Oh! Oh my gosh, is this a puppy? It's a baby girl rabbit! <laughs> Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. Oh, Snowden Inn. <laughs> One night is ADG. Uh, sorry, I don't want to pay for that. Well, feel free to come back anytime. <clears throat> well, feel free to come back anytime. Let's see, is there any change in the cushions I could take? No. Nope, I can't go upstairs. Didn't pay the 80 smackaroos. Alright. Got... Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the undersnow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Oh. Look at these... All these sassy rabbits. Oh my gosh. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee! That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Maybe because she's got a baby rabbit on a leash. Oh my god! 
Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, so freaking cute! Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. <clears throat> okay. I guess it was a good thing these teens tormented that monster. Oh my gosh. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. What are you supposed to be? A bee? <gasps> a dinosaur! <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, you a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, I never noticed that. Striped shirt buddies. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Oh, you remind me of maybe the bear that I see on my honey jar. I don't know. Grillbees! <gasps> All of my buddies! Oh my gosh, hi guys! We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. <laughs> we love bones. Oh my gosh. Hey, and it's our friend, the stoner dog. Thinking of getting Spike Collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> That's a crazy rabbit hat. Oh, that's, that is a rabbit? Hmm. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> oh, my favorite! <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. <laughs> it appears to be losing. <clears throat> <laughs> it appears to be losing. Oh, Hi, fish lady. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with the fish. <laughs> I think I put your line back in. I hope I did. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butt, slip onto their butts. <laughs> the jukebox is broken. N nothing. I, I, fire doesn't. Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, they're mousy in a scarf. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> mm, so cute. Hi, little dummy. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Ah, oh, good word, morose. At the library? Oh, dinosaurs! Dinosaurs are in Undertale! Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. What? <gasps> library. <laughs> that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Actually, yes. I am bad at crosswords. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. You're like, you look like Oscar the Grouch, but as a woman. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. 
I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> you are Oscar the Grouch as a woman. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to excel. That's really sad. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Let's start at one. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> Wait, what does that bullet pattern birthday card have to do with magic? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Oh. Therefore, if a being with powerful soul struck the with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Oh, I am glad I am not hurting anything. All of these monsters are too sweet. Oh, someone needs to pick up their mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. <gasps> Look inside. Oh. <sighs> not yet. Not yet. You realize that would probably be illegal. I wonder if I just keep walking true. into the snow, into the blizzard. Maybe something will happen. Oh. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. Oh, he's talking about me. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... What? What will you be? No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. No, Papyrus, we're friends. Papyrus blocks the way. Check, insult, or flirt. Flirt? Oh, all right, here we go, Papyrus. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti or I have zero redeeming qual. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date the later, after I capture you. Okay, whew! Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date! Ah! Wear your cape, Papyrus. Papyrus, I'll keep flirting. Oh no! Let's, let's date later, after I capture you! So wait, what do I do if I can't flirt? Oh, Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. 
Um, okay, so if acting won't, then should I just spare? So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Uh, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. Sans told me not to move. Blue stop signs. Yeah. Oh. What? You're blue now. What? What? That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> You're blue now. Oh, what? No. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Uh, ah! Oh, gosh. Pyrus Deb's empty tea brand cute juice behind his ear. He just keeps dabbing all sorts of stuff. He doesn't even... He doesn't have ears. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. I told you, Papyrus, you don't have ears. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettoir. Oh! Ah! <gasps> Dang it! Dang it, Papyrus! What are you doing? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. I need to heal, man. Papyrus, what are you doing? You eat one half of the bicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Undine would be really proud of me. Ah! Oh my gosh, Papyrus, what are you doing? <sighs> Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. No, stop. Can I flirt with you again? What's... The king will trim a hedge on the shape of my smile. Ah! Papyrus is considering his options. Who cares? Give up! I do care! I'm your friend! This is your last chance before my special attack! I'm gonna be dead, man! I'm gonna be dead! You're too weak! I was easily able to capture- Oh, dang, I just wasted all that healing stuff. Oh, well. I will now send you to the capture zone! Or, as Sans calls it, a garage? You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> Oh. It's a note from from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undine arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Neofly yours, Papyrus. Even though he beat me in battle, I still think he's amazing. It's a squeaky do toy. What does he think humans need? Unfortunately, it's just dry food. No spaghetti. No spaghetti? It's too small to sleep on. Oh, what? <laughs> oh! Hi again! <laughs> I escaped. Oh! Where could that human have gone? Wait! It's right in front of me! Hello! I was worried you had gotten lost! It sure is a relief to know you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Oh. What? What? Papyrus, can I still flirt with you? Oh. He, okay, he wants to capture me. Okay, well, I'll let him capture me. I won't want to leave. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by reading and I totally forgot to read out loud. So I'm back. Wah, wah. Oh, hey, mouse hole. No mousey? Okay. But it's a note from Papyrus. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone truzzled. Papyrus. Oh, but I can't. I'm not gonna. Papyrus. Come on, man. It's locked. Are we gonna do this again? Am I just gonna keep escaping? I'm not supposed to keep escaping. Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. In the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. 
But Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! Papyrus, you are persistent. But it just won't work on me. I am the persistentest. And if you think you are persistenter, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistent. <laughs> Not as persistent as Papyrus, the persistententist. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> Papyrus, I want to go. It's a note from Papyrus. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host, Papyrus. Does that mean I can come into your house now? I don't want to stay in this weird place. It's locked. suppose we're going to do around four. Again, I'll probably fast forward through this because the battles get boring after four rounds for you to watch. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why. You. Just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly I'm getting really tired of capturing you. I'm getting really tired of escaping. Fight Rapyrus? No. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. No, well, no, not failure. Oh, no. No. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser? Ah, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? I don't know if that would work for the rest of the world, Papyrus. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then... When you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters! He is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Oh my gosh, we have a date with Papyrus. Okay, well, I'm gonna go on that date right now because it makes no sense to wait. We're right here. We should hang out with Papyrus. <gasps> <clears throat> so excited. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. I wonder where we're gonna go. What's, what's gonna happen? <laughs> my house <laughs> oh my gosh and it just okay I'll, I'll follow you I'll follow you in oh my gosh this is my brother's pet rock he always forgets to feed it as usual I have to take responsibility the rock is covered in sprinkles <gasps> rocks eat sprinkles oh <sighs> You touch the couch, it makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Oh, Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What is usually better than this? This is just a bad episode, uh, don't judge me. <gasps> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. 
Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Ah! <laughs> Hashtag roommate problems. Oh, man. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Aha! Interested in my food, food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. S sounds like my refrigerator currently. <laughs> Except minus the spaghetti. Just boring vegetables. Why is the sink so high? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh! <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sands! Stop plaguing my life with the incidental music! Oh my gosh. My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. Oh, he made a pie. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. <laughs> you look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. <laughs> you decide to stop. Oh, physics joke. Yeah. Welcome to seeing Nick, my house. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. Oh, <clears throat> a classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. So this is his room, I'm assuming, because Sans just came out of this. The door is locked. What is he doing in there? It's like... Fire or a light show? All right, here we go. Let's see his room. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Ah, uh, sure! Oh, this bedroom is so cute. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh, your car bed. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Oh, I want you to come back home with me. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Santa. Oh my gosh, if Santa shows up in this game, I will go crazy. This is, oh my gosh. Isn't that Vlagnido? Undine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. You have a computer? The internet. I'm quite popular there. Bet you are. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. <laughs> <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending my bad puns in a goofy font. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh, I bet I know who that is. There are no skeletons in my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet? Sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Cool. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? 
Yes? This wasn't the date? This was pre-date? Oh my gosh. Okay, dating start. <laughs> dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> oh my god. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Can we stop for a moment and just say that this this is... Step one. Press the C key on, C key on your keyboard for dating H-U-D. Let's see. Tuesday. <gasps> Reel it in. Population egg. Crime. <laughs> Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human? I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. <gasps> no, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. No! You plan it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, you're dating power. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you. Is that bad? Nyeh. Nyeh. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <gasps> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! I don't mean to- is this a good thing or a bad thing? I just- that's so, that's so cool. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Uh, sadly inappropriate, but I'm checking everything. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? I bet you it's gonna be on his heart. Oops, wrong one. Let's do his head. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Okay, I'll open it. Do you know what this is? Is that spaghetti? Spaghetti! <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. What? This ain't any plain old pasta. This is artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in oak and cask, then cooked by me, the master chef, Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Okay, I'll eat it. I take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Oh, the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy.
Is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot, human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. <laughs> How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you're very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys! So, I guess it was my first heartbreak. I wonder if I can, I can visit Sans before I leave. The door is locked. Wowie, you guys! So that was an intense, intense episode! Not only did we go and explore this beautiful town of Snowden, we went on a date. Well, we got captured. We had to escape like four times. We made a best friend, we went on a date, didn't find true love, but that is okay because we're still friends. This is a great stopping point. Um, Undertale. What more can be said than that this game just makes me happy. So I will see you guys later. Like, press the like button if you enjoy this, if you want to see more Undertale. And next time, I will see you. We'll hopefully uh, head towards that castle, meet the warm, fuzzy, happy king, and make our way closer to home. All right. Bye, guys.